Hello, welcome to Spurred On and welcome to another Top 5 with me, Rhys James. This week's Top 5 is the Top 5 of the Tottenham Deadwood. The house is getting dusty. It's time for a clear out. The garden is overrun with weeds and I've just got a job as a professional declutterer. Here is my Top 5 of the Tottenham Deadwood. Now the problem with picking a Top 5 of the Tottenham Deadwood is narrowing it down to 5. So let's go. In at number five, Paulinho. Craig Mitch will not be happy about this. He'd be gutted that I haven't picked Ryan Mason for the first time ever. He'll be gutted I haven't picked Ryan Mason above him. Uh, Paulinho, you've got to go, mate. I'm sorry, but you're just slowing us down too much. You never look forward. You're always passing sideways or backwards. And it's not good enough. You're making the, taking the pace out of the game. We're a young side now, and I just I can't accept it. But I will look back on you fondly. You know, I see it as like a sort of relationship that just isn't working out, no matter what we've tried. We've tried having a couple of breaks. We've tried trying to boost your confidence and your self-esteem by saying, no, you look the same without makeup. Well, I'm afraid you look with and without makeup and you're just not good enough. But I will miss you, Paulinho. And I, I do feel bad because you've just had a kid and you probably do need the money a little bit, but I'm just afraid you've got to go. But I will look back on the memories fondly. Number four, Vlad Kirakez. F you, Vlad. You have got to go, okay? You're not good enough. I won't miss you. In relationship terms, you have been openly abusive. White Hart Lane is a safe house and you are not welcome. Number three, Etienne Capu. Stroppy Etienne. We've all heard the rumors, mate, that you think you're better than the kids and that they shouldn't be playing above you. You and Kabul teaming up saying we're better than these little kids. You're the only one acting like a kid, mate. So pick your toys up off the floor and get off our property, okay? Plus, you're football. You're slower than Paulinho and you're tall and you're lanky and you're just crap mate. You can't pick a pass. You're just pathetic. I don't want you in our team. Get lost. Number two, Eunice Kabul. Another one in the Kapu clique of stroppy little brats. Eunice Kabul, you went from being captain to a nobody quicker than the bloke steering the Titanic. Okay, you're so bad at defending that no one even complains about the fact Fazio is starting above you. That's how bad you are and you have got to go. Number one, Emmanuel Adebayor. So there was my top five of the Tottenham Deadwood. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel a lot better. Obviously, we've got some honourable mentions. This maybe should have been more than a top five. For example, Benjamin Stambouli, who I didn't want to mention because it does sort of feel like he might be gone by the time this video is released anyway. Uh, you've obviously got Andros Townsend. Uh, he does inject a bit of pace. He's a bit one-dimensional but uh, you know cutting inside every now and then he does get a goal and obviously Roberto Soldado who has not scored many goals for us but I just feel so guilty it just feels like putting down an old family dog uh, and we might as well just wait we're gonna go downstairs one day and he'll have gone naturally so we'll leave it at that obviously of course Defoe the Cisco years uh, and that is the top five of the Tottenham Deadwood let me know if there's anyone I missed in the comments or if you think I'm wrong you want to argue against me I won't reply uh, because I am scared of you uh, but please follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week. This week, we are posing the question, is Daniel Levy good for our clubs?